So, um, yeah, so the first rehearsal, um, we were, you know, the, the music part was, we, we could play from 7 to 11. That was the first setup of the PA for me, mm. and um, it, was, it was mental. Like, uh, just bought the subwoofer, yeah. um, trying to load, just getting everything in the car was mental. <laughs> but the car was packed full of stuff. It took me a long time to set up. Matty showed, so Matt Burwood, who's filming, came down to sort of do light design, mm -hmm. but actually got involved with everything and filmed loads of that rehearsal. Um, so he turned up and then Alex turned up, and I was kind of like, oh, I could do with another hour on my own to actually get some stuff done. But um, but yeah, we, we got it kind of set up and we were running a little bit behind, but all the, all the musicians showed, and then we just started running the songs and it was crazy. Crazy. I mean, I was so scared at that point. I was like, what the hell are we doing? Like, this is insane. I was like trying to run around like we had two desks because the, the desk that we've got had, just doesn't have enough channels. It's not built to do a show like that. So I, I had to get another desk and like Rinks it loads of stuff. Gaffer tape them together. <laughs> <laughs> Make a desk. Yeah. So I was trying to figure out that and talk to Matt about the lighting and Amy about how the tables were gonna go. You and you and Amy mm. were like Plus. shuffling tables yeah. around. We're trying to rehearse. Remember thirty later. songs as well. Yeah. So you, yeah. yeah. And so it was. It was just. It was just mayhem. And then on top of that, you got Alex like explaining the history of the Georgia Sea Islands to <laughs> Carl, who's like, you know, interested in listening and stuff, and I'm just like... I'll steal your suspicion chips. Oh my <laughs> good god. And like, so, my, my stress levels are building and it's looking more and more like the great impossible task, but then we start rehearsing and like, the first thing they did was Desperado with Alex and Carl, and yeah. they just ran it once, and it was mm -hmm. like, beautiful, and I thought, okay, alright. And then we started going through the songs, and it was it was kind of... It was really enjoyable in some places and really stressful in others. Like, pretty much, Jay was just like, "And what's the chords for this one?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> I wrote so many emails. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, so you had that, and so I didn't know the parts, and like, and, and you know, so there was those stressful points, but there were also bits like my funny Valentine. We just played it, and, and like eighty percent of the song just it was done. No, you never, no need to worry about it ever again. So, um, it was, it was, it was a roller coaster. Once I lived the life of a millionaire. Tape in, right? Tape in. And then it finally Last just works. My good friends didn't have no place to go. Back in my hands on a dollar again. I'll hang on to it till that old ego grins. Cause nobody knows you. Well, people, take that just the way. 
Yeah, right in the high name. Seriously, shot back down in May. But you know, ain't you just bound to change that tune? When you back on top, back on top into you. No, I'm just going to try and put a little bit in the fold backs as well, just to, just because. Um, that's what we'll be doing. So. Um, <laughs>
uh, I've got a nine piece band, I've got nowhere to rehearse, what am I going to do? And um, through uh, uh, a really good friend of mine, he has a new office that he had bought and it's a big old place and they're, they're not using it yet, they're not going to be in there for a while because they're re-architecting the whole place. That was rehearsal number two, we got it booked in, it was amazing, we had everybody could make it. Rehearsal number two was, if I thought rehearsal number one was hard, rehearsal number two was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. I was trying to figure out the <coughs> snake and leads and, and whether we had enough stuff and, and, and loads of stuff and I Taping wanted to record two desks it. together. <laughs> had a new sound card, trying to figure out whether I could do the recording, trying to do yeah. this, and then I had the songs, and I had to deal with Alex who was ill, and had a cold, Ames didn't turn up because she was ill, and it was like, and I was so tired by the end of that rehearsal, but I mean, the, the, the actual playing was really good, and we did really good work, and yeah. um, It was really necessary, that rehearsal. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
like whatever that diminished. Yeah, the deep yeah, the, 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 the that but we build on that diminished. Right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Cool. So you want to go That's cool. So it is, and St. James Infirmary is about 17 minutes long, isn't it? Uh, well, no, it's, it's, that's, that's sort of like five, six minutes, seven if I extend it. So, I mean, I, I'll add, up, I'll add I think, it all up for well, recordings and I'll figure it out, but yeah. It's on the night, if we need to, there's, um, like we might, well, cut before I get all the end on you, don't know my mind. Yeah. Um, I could cut one of one of my solo ones mm -hmm. if we need to. I think because all of the songs with everyone on are a lot longer than the song is with very few people mm. or just me. Mm. They're, they're, the ones that are just me or me and Carl are about three three minutes long. Yeah. 
and then the ones that go over are like 25 minutes long. Yeah. We're looking at what, 40 minute intermission? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it gives, yeah. it's quite a long time, but it's because yeah. there's so much music. Well, yeah, like, people have yeah, yeah, yeah. sat down for yeah. an hour and a half getting hit with music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, want yeah, time yeah. for their ears yeah. to reset. Yeah. And yeah. Then it's 7 30 to 11. It gives us a buffer as well. Yeah. 7 30 to 11, say 45 minutes interval, that's 8 15 to 11, so that's still almost three hours of music. Mm. Which, so I don't think we're going to have any massive. <laughs> if, if, if needs be, I'll cut. Uh, one of these uh, ones and I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do the maths and, and we'll figure it out cool. and also we'll have a big timer in front of us so he, say, knows, is, is, he knows well, Monkey has a big timer by the desk because it's yeah. really useful like you get as we all know you get lost in the time and you're with gigs and <laughs> what you don't want to do is be culling the last four songs that's the only reason why it was yes, it's it's actually been worked out yeah. Yeah. if you yeah. start yeah. culling then you come away from it for a bit yes indeed okay um, so surface skin on your lips allowing the cider to sink right into your blood vessels. Usually 
definitely me screwing up. Okay, uh, do you want, you want to go to, we're running out of time, that's the only problem. You maybe run it at the end? Yeah. Yeah, we'll run it at the end. <laughs> <laughs> we are so running out of time. Gracefully, that is our most minimum. So, um, what time do people need to go? Uh, we want to keep, and any of that is today, really. difficult yeah. to do. Any, anybody beat half ten? Yeah. Look, it's so beautiful. Anybody? Okay. So, Mr. Bow. Oh. The moment you rush it, no one will hear a fucking word that Andy says, so everybody just needs to be off the beat. You see what I mean? We'll go again. Sorry, I was a bit all over the place, so I wasn't sure if we were actually starting. So, how are we going to start it? You're getting it started there. This is a song that was a friend of mine.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
um, yeah, I mean, it, essentially that's the song, so it, it, it does verse, we do chorus, mm. does verse, do chorus, yeah. and at some point we just keep on going, but Alex will signal everything to do with the, the where, where he sizes, wants yeah. it that to happen, and bits that happen. Like a horse, right? Not baby penguin. <laughs> Brazen oh, panda, yes. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think brazen panda means you sit down. <laughs> so the day. The day. The day. The whole thing really, for me, started the day before I was supposed to be working. I did not do any work. I ended up burning <laughs> CDs and writing emails and trying to get the final few things together, getting the stage. Mm -hmm. I hadn't got any staging and I was not sure whether I was going to do it. <laughs> I arrived there at like 10.20. Mm -hmm. I loaded all the stages from stage stuff from my car. I went straight to Salon, picked up the stuff yeah. from where we had rehearsed loaded that, got it all in there, and um, I gave myself an hour and a half to try and do setup before yeah. I was going to test the recording mm -hmm. stuff, but actually what happened was people started arriving and I just carried on. So that was that was amazing and everybody turned up on time and um, like you guys got there really early and helped with, with everything and then Ames was there mm. just after you yeah, and so tables. you could do the tables. We ran through a couple of things. Sound check was, yeah, it was something else. <laughs> you just For me it was the first phone. moment. I, the band were playing, it sounded great and I walked out and behold, <laughs> this is going to work. <laughs> you pulled it off. It so it's just relief. Amazingly, like the 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 staging that we had got like transformed. Yes. Yeah. And suddenly it was like it was much bigger and a much more visual feast. And then we did the photo outside and it was just <laughs> it was like so mayhem from yeah. then. I just didn't know what was going on. It literally was carnage. Yeah. yeah. But there was loads of people. A and, lot of people. So, and the, well, <laughs> part of the thing is like most people when you say, oh, gigs start at 7 30, you know, how many gigs have you done? There's just no one there yeah. for the first five songs. <laughs> and then everybody comes and if that had been the case, it would have been really difficult. So, because I was imagining like Kevin Marks who were doing the door having to like, ushering loads of people in between the songs and are stopping and breaking the mood and stuff but it just didn't happen it just filled up before yeah. half seven yeah. so when I was doing that thing I was just looking at it wow there's like loads of people here um, and and they were so respectful like they really it just worked like they actually it did you know they listened off. and they kind of seemed to get it and, and from that thing I welcomed Alex onto the stage and he came on and then the gig started and the gig is just like, you know, I could speak about it for hours, I could tell you about every single song, but it is what it is and there's footage of it so I don't really need to. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was, it was, it was just sensational. If you get to heaven, won't you tell the judge for me? I've had 16 years, I've third degree cocaine. Right around that brain. Walk down 8th Street, turn down the menu, looking for a fix, they call it cocaine. Okay. I'm gonna get me a pistol just as long as I'm tall. Gonna shoot somebody, just watch them fall. Cocaine drives me insane. You can chase it away with your sweet apple jack. Wake up in the morning and it's right back Every time me and my baby go downtown Police come and they knock me down Okay uh, Here we go Got people over here setting up tables Hard at work while I stand here filming them <laughs> Um, 
Dave here setting up the bass corner, the acoustic corner, ukulele corner. And here we have Alex's setup. We have strap, we have pedal board, we have acoustic mat for acoustic tones. We have Dave, ukulele master. Sounding good there, Dave. It wasn't very mastery, was it? <laughs> I like the way. <laughs> that was pretty masterful. Lips that once were mine, Speaking of which, I'm behind schedule. Like I said, my thought was have that, but then that's not going to solve the issue of monks needing to, to get in and out. So, um, but well, this is. This I could is, I could go there. This is um, quite. I mean, it's it's not going to be a balanced shot with the other one, but it's it's pretty cool. If that. If yeah, the only issue here was that I was I was getting I was starting to get obscured like by people in the foreground was kind yeah, of like, so there, you're the gonna further block. out I am. The more, but, but you, there you're going to block one, two, three, four, five, six people's oh. view. Matt, if the tape that tape That's a good point, forward, actually, there, not really see do you not stand right. like behind it and then have your lighting desk behind you on the floor? Say you? Like if that desk was further yeah. forward, was like further this way, yeah. then you could stand like there and then you could have your lighting desk behind you on the floor and then you could just turn to reach it when you need to do. Well, we could, then, yeah, but I mean, if, if, assuming that we can move it far enough to get out of the shot. Do you know, um, Alex, if you're trying to put songs in the set list, stop it. Uh, no, we're just, oh, he's just warming up the Samara's Rebels. I know, I know, this is what you said. He came in, he came in, but no room in the set for Irish Rebels songs. <laughs> well, there's a 40 Please, minute gap no. in the middle. <laughs> Stuff was going on until you turned up with a camera. We were just talking about uh, bands and tempers and things. You weren't you weren't talking about uh, vocal lines like you should be yeah, and doing we are, and doing your vocal we're warm ups.
Can we get any words before the show? I should have been a pair of ragged claws scuttling across the floors of silent seas. So that's five hours and 42 minutes. No, that's five minutes and 42 seconds. It's just the way, look, blame Microsoft, okay? I have gladly will um, blame Microsoft. Oh, only because I've not done it. Is there room to walk behind Alex easily? Yeah. Yeah, okay. there is. Happy days. Yeah. If I'm upright. Sure. Yeah, yeah obviously, we can just step over. When he's horizontal, yeah, you just walk over him. True. The housekeeping stuff is like normal things about fire exits. Everyone knows where they are. Yeah. Our dear greeters. Mouts, are you in that camp? I can be. Great. Um, <laughs> we'll be we showing people their seats jacket, from though. seven, so we can just get out in a minute. But um, all they're going to be saying is welcome, sit where you like, put your stuff where you like, use the kitchen. It's a long gig, respect. What about applause after the tracks? That's okay, yeah? Sorry? Applause after the tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, so it's interaction with the band rather than like, if you want to work on holler, then that's fine. But if you're using to make you emit sound, that's fine. But it's, it's having a chat about right, neighbours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, what is shit? Yeah. 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 Ironically. Waiting for the band to come on. I'm not playing harmonica until like the fifth, sixth song. I've got a while. Um, I think we're running a few minutes behind, but uh, you always do with these kind of things. West Coast, monks out. Idea of kind of the space and the sound that we've got in here. So, I, I, you know, one of one of the reasons for holding this event is just to see whether uh, we can change kind of the dialogue between the musicians and the audience, and part of it is going to be trying to maintain some sort of silence in the room while the music's going on. If, if, you, if you force the PA up in volume, if you force that dialogue to be at a huge volume, the musicians communicate in a completely different way, like the music changes. So that's the first part of it. Um, the second thing, Music Easter, the, the organisation that this is all about, is trying to start community. So all I'm asking, all Music Easter is asking, is for your email address or your like us on Facebook and stay up, date, up to date. Um, if, if the evening is cool and you enjoy yourselves, that's really all we're after at this stage. We're just trying to start a community and in time we'll ask for donations and see if that community can power events like this. Because um, it's the only way it's going to happen. Uh, you, you can't do this in a commercial setting. It doesn't work. So, um, but you can do it quite easily if you can crowdfund it. So um, that's it for me. Um, uh, that's yes. Yeah, so we're going to start the show. So uh, if I can ask you all to put your hands together. <laughs>
harmonica player who went by the name of Al the Jew, uh, a British Wisconsinian keyboard player from Marathon, uh, and me, I think it may what he said there, once did a 26 minute version of the following song. This is the, um, this is the radio edit. <laughs> it's called Senor Tales of Yankee Power. <laughs> Thank you. 